Okay. Welcome everyone. We are here today in downtown surface utilizing our procedure room today and I'm going to be demonstrating a technique for facial and neck rejuvenation using your own fat cells. Now most people would think that this is going to be a complicated procedure. This procedure using cephala uh, devices is very easy to do, can just be done in virtually any room to be honest with you. Uh, and there's a very easy extraction of fat, uh, which is purified or cleaned with saline rather, and then simply injected into uh, patients, uh, the patient's face and key area. So this is actually a regenerative rejuvenation procedure. Many people know about PRP. I think uh, adipose-derived stem cells is what the medical name is. I like to call it miracle cells because they have far more regenerative potential than PRP, which really just has growth factors. You can mix them together, but it's not necessary for, for this type of procedure. So ideally in people that are interested to uh, prevent uh, aging, which is a very complex process, um, the main issues that we see with aging is the changes in skin uh, uh, predominantly and also loss of volume. So uh, we live in a harsh climate, uh, we age quicker than anywhere else in the world um, and therefore this is an op opportunity for people to look at this technique uh, if they want to use their own biological product rather than an artificial product that's made in a syringe. Uh, and it can be repeated several times over the next decade or longer if necessary and it will help retain a youthful skin and uh, hopefully prevent the aging process within the facial skin and neck from um, progressing to requiring more extensive treatments. So for the purpose of today what I'm going to be doing is I harvest the fat, uh, I wash the fat with some saline solution, I then decant the local anaesthetic and the um, normal saline out of the syringe and I'm left with the, uh, the micro aggregate of cells that we've harvested and uh, we use, that is very enriched in adipose derived stem cells. Uh, probably for every one mil, there's between 50 to 160,000 adipose derived stem cells, and we can we will we will equally uh, inject probably four to six times that amount within the face, uh, as well as it can be used in the hair for hair regrowth. So you can be reassured that you're getting a very enri enriched tissue regenerative uh, product that is biologically your own and you're not going to reject it. So our client today is um, had some premature aging and has issues that we have treated um, with uh, products through biostimulation, biostimulatory fillers to try and um, get uh, uh, or prevent the aging process. And I think she's got to the stage now where we find these products don't seem to be exerting the effect that we want. So we're going to move into this domain now. It's not to say that you have to go through that process to, to use this. You can basically do this um, at any opportunity uh, in mature age patients that really want to um, you know, remain youthful uh, in terms of their facial uh, appearance. So what we've got here is glycation in her skin through here. So loss of collagen and, and uh, elastosis, and this is the buccal area. So I will be uh, infiltrating into the buccal area in a fanning technique here, and equally I'll be coming up into the zygoma and uh, infiltrating and layering a carpet of uh, beautiful enriched uh, cells. Um, After that, I will then move to uh, put some of this product using a sharp needle into the upper, in, in, into the lips and the upper lip and uh, the surrounding areas. Um, and where necessary, uh, what you can do with this product is you can actually emulsify it a little bit further and you can inject fine lines. We call that the sniff procedure. Um, 
Then I'm going to go and because she's got a lot of loss of subcutaneous fat, I'm going to restore uh, the fat in the upper eyelid because that is what a youthful um, upper eyelid looks like. She does have temporal fossa wasting in this area here. And once again, we're going to uh, put some fat in there as well. Um, can you open your eyes for me? Uh, I will be injecting under this area here with, with the fat uh, so that um, hopefully that will um, help with some of those lines there. So the key areas I'll be doing will be the upper lip, the upper lip, the lips, the nasolabial fold. I'll be doing the buccal area through there to try and get more volume and stimulate um, collagenesis uh, and regeneration there. I'll be fanning out through the zygoma uh, underneath the skin. And I'll be doing this largely just with a cannula, so it's not actually painful. And then I'll be infiltrating this area in the temporal fossa through there um, and uh, doing the lower eyelids. So... That's it in a nutshell. I don't envisage it's gonna take me more than an hour to do this. Uh, the patient's awake, she'll go home. It's really just an office-based procedure. Um, we will, I will uh, touch base with you uh, when we're ready to start the um, uh, removal of the fat from her tummy. Uh, this fat is actually removed with a, with, with a patent and, uh, um, applicator and allows us to stay in a very easy plane to harvest that subdermal or hypodermis fat, which we want for this procedure. All right, are you ready to go? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You sure? Sure. Fantastic. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, I've got a 10 hold 800 micron um, e e extractor device, uh, cannula. And so what I'm gonna do is simply just put that in here all right into this device and then i'm going to lock it and then i'm going to start harvesting the fat and then exchange it through an entry point here okay fine. okay i've inserted the applicator with the cannula this device which is patented by the professor in, in italy basically uh, keeps me in the right plane and um uh there's a safety mechanism as well for just, uh, you know, minimizing puncturing deeper structures. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the vacuum on the, on the actual device now. And now it's locked. And then with this now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start harvesting the fat. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock the syringe. Got about five mils of fat there. I'm going to withdraw this now. And we're going to add, transfer that to a transfer syringe. Okay. All right, well, I've harvested the fat cells with the cephalo technique. And what I'm left with here after I've washed the fat is the pink part is the blood and the local anesthetic. So what I'm going to do is drain the blood, put it all together, put it into three more syringes and then inject it just with a cannula that you would normally use with a, um, sorry, with a, um, uh, a filler, for example. Okay and uh, we're going to inject the fat uh, into her. So very simple technique. There's no centrifuging. Um, the harvesting was really easy. I'd say we've probably got in the region of about, <coughs> excuse me, 25 mils of fat, which is a pretty good harvest. So in Bronwyn's case, I'm going to really be able to, you know, address the areas that concern me. There's no real aftercare with this. Uh, stay, uh, follow a healthy diet. Um, <clears throat> and um, one has to be patient for the effect. It's not an immediate effect like a hyaluronic acid filler. 
these are stem cells we're injecting. They've got to find their home. They have to regenerate the tissue and they've got to help reinforce and put structure, collagenization, stimulate elastosis, as well as strengthening the, um, <clears throat> the, the intercellular spaces between cells uh, in, the, in, in the dermis, hypodermis. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've numbed her up. I've just very briefly um, marked out these areas where I'll be going. I've injected here underneath the orbicularis muscle. I'm going to fill in the buccal area. She doesn't really need any jawline shaping. I'll do the lips. I'll do the upper lip. I'm going to do the nasolabial fold. I'm going to do the temples. And any fine lines that I see, like here in this area here or up in the forehead, I'm going to inject that with uh, what we call a sniff technique, which is a sharp needle into dermal fat. Um, when I inject this area through here, I, um, I use a sharp needle because it's intradermal. When I'm injecting uh, in the zygoma and buccal, um, I inject, in fact, in this technique, I'll be doing a layer technique. I'll be doing intradermal and sub subdermal. Okay, so this is part of the harvest. I've got nearly 70 mils here, plus another at least 10 mils of beautiful uh, stem cell, adipose, uh, or fat cell derived stem cells. Uh, in the syringe and this little miracle uh, product uh, which is her own natural product is going to be injected into her face and it's going to work its magic um, and uh, hopefully she'll get a, a reasonably long lasting result but like I said you know whether you have PRP or other regenerative procedures you know it, it's you, we still continue to age so I'm excited. This looks like a really good harvest. And um, yeah, thank you. I'm going to do this two ways. I'm going to do, because she's got such a lot of buckle wasting, I'm going to do this in a layered technique. I'm first going to inject uh, in the hypodermis and then intradermal. So just like with the filler, I'm going to come in, keep the needle sterile, some sterile gauze. Uh, and her skin is quite fibrous as you can see I'm applying a bit of pressure here that's just because uh, over the years she's had many treatments so we're just going to inject this in this area Okay, so it's a bit tough, but that's not worries me. The beautiful thing about nanofat in different circumstances in which I've used it. When we inject the fat, we don't just pour it in, we inject little boluses, okay? And, and what that does is uh, gives you uh, a much better harvest in putting a big blob in the tissues. Now is I'm just going to layer this carpet that I told you about on the zygoma. She's got incredibly fibrous tissue. Okay. One more syringe, please. One of the things that really concerns me on the Gold Coast that I've come across is people are advertising Groupon PRPs and simply just using uh, and claiming that as a regenerative procedure, which really, to be honest, is, 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 is far from the truth. And it's not a, a legitimate way to be treating patients and promising these types of treatment because the tubes they use do not actually get a decent platelet count. So at least with this treatment, we know that we're probably going to give her in the region of 600,000 adipose-derived stem cells or more into her face. Okay, so this is a cephala procedure. I've finished it now. I'd like to thank Bronwyn for, for coming in to do this demonstration. It took us, like I said, about an hour to do. Uh, we harvested 25 mils of beautiful uh, enriched um, fat-derived uh, magical cells, if you want to call that, rather than using chimal cells. And um, I've placed it, uh, done a global pan facial treatment. Uh, we've put some in the, uh, the upper border of the eyelid up here underneath the muscle. Uh, where there's usually fat 
we've uh, filled some of her buckled area we put some product in her lip upper lip nasal labials and temples i haven't got any through 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 jawline or uh, in the posterior part of the uh, preauricular area um so <clears throat> we um like to thank my, my my nurses talia and alex who've helped me today um bronwyn uh, has to drive home uh sometimes i may give a little bit of sedation for this pro procedure because patients do find it a bit daunting but when you think about uh like i said the the amount of um, poor quality PRP that's been done in the public today, and I'm not criticizing my colleagues, but uh, other practitioners, um, you really wonder why this is being done. Your own biological fat has far more, like I said, I've put in possibly 600,000 or more adipose derived stem cells, probably much, much more than that into her tissues now. And um, uh, she tolerated the procedure reasonably well, I thought, and uh, there really are no complications. And we'll be following her up during the week, and we expect that over the coming months, we're going to see a rejuvenation in her skin. Her, her hypodermis was very tough and scarred. And what we'll see compared to PRP is that this is going to soften, okay? And she's going to get a more youthful texture to her skin. The lips will look a bit swollen now, but they will go down and the texture of the lips will feel a lot better. So um, if you have any questions uh, or you see any of our nurses, um, Alex and Talia, or you want to speak to Tanya or arrange an appointment to speak with myself, uh, please don't hesitate uh, to think about this procedure, particularly when you've got mature age skin. And, you know, you're just tired of putting filler after filler into your face and you want a more natural look. Now, we do do threads in our practice and we deal with a lot of mature age patients. This is an option to do after threads as well if you want to try and uh, enhance uh, the texture of your skin and uh, potentially address some volume issues as well. So thanks for that. And like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to contact my staff at Ulala and we look forward to uh, running you through this procedure if it's something that's of interest to you. Thank you.